Welcome back Guardians. In this video I wanted to talk about my week 1 level 34 PS4 character fully maxed out within one week. I'm going to tell you my journey and all the things I don't and all the items that I received. But first, before we get into it, make sure you check out Willis Gaming. Willis dragged me through a hell of a lot of things, Crota, Vault of Glass, and Trials of Osiris to be able to make this level 34 in one week possible. Um, I also got very lucky as well, and I'm going to talk about how lucky I was, but make sure you go and check out Willis, check out his YouTube, his Twitter, and his Twitch. They will all be linked in the video description below. He streams Destiny on a regular basis, so make sure you go over there and follow him. They're really good, entertaining streams. I actually sit and watch him play as well, and that's a big thing for me to be able to sit and watch somebody play Destiny, but it's just because of how entertaining his stream is. So go and check out all the links in the video description. Show him some love, because he got me to level 34 in the first week of me leveling up my character. So the big thing for me with PS4 was being unable to level up quickly. Like, I've played Destiny enough to know how long it takes to level up a character. Luckily, this Red Bull quest thing started happening. And another big shout out to Wiggy the Hot. Now, Wiggy, bless his heart, went out and bought me my Red Bulls. I sent him the money and he went and bought them, opened them all, used them all in different ways and sent me the code. So, big shout out to him. Check out his Twitter also. So, all the codes I got from that, I used the Focus Light to level up from level 1 to level 20 in about three and a half hours four hours i just blasted through all my bounties and everything and activated my focused xp at the right time just before i handed in bounties etc etc so that was pretty much done in one day and then a couple of days i didn't play ps4 for because i didn't have no friends and i didn't have no one to drag me through stuff but then willis was streaming and he dragged me through um vault of glass now vault of glass normal i managed to get the atheon's epilogue the prey death's revenge and the corrective measure and also the time breaker sparrow so you know three useful weapons for right now and definitely i definitely wanted that sparrow as soon as possible because the normal sparrows are so damn slow um, but then i didn't get no armor so i couldn't level up which was a bit of a pain so he dragged me through trials of osiris now the helmet that i've got the imminent warhood I actually got this from my very first blue helmet engram that i opened at level 20 first one bang helmet straight away equip that great but it needed to be ascended and i'll get into that in a second too and how lucky i am i then got dragged through trials of osiris willis got me there for eight to one and all i wanted was the packages and with the packages obviously i bought the astral horizon shotgun and i didn't bother buying the helmet that's to offer because it was a strength roll so you know i just kept this helmet but these gloves dropped for me after a match but again, they needed to be ascended, so I needed to be able to get some kind of a ferric light. But then, out of the packages, I got the Robe of the Exile, and it was a pretty damn amazing roll. Look at that. Intellect, Discipline, carry more ammo for shotgun, and carry more ammo for hand cannon. So once I get my fawn and my shotgun, I'm going to be wrecking people. So I had all three legendary items here, and I had a pair of green boots. So after that, we ran the Nightfall. Now, because we ran Trials of Osiris out of two of the packages, I got a Ferric Light. And then, when we ran the Nightfall, I got a Ferric Light. So I got to use all three of Ferric Lights that I got extremely luckily to ascend everything. And then all of... No, um, not the chest piece. Sorry, I'm talking about the boots. So the first, the top two, the heads and the arms, I have Ferric Lighted them. And they went up in stature. And I was ready to roll. The only thing I had was green boots. So I thought, you know... I want to check out the new strikes, so I went into the Dragon playlist. First strike was one of the new ones that I've never played, the Dust Palace, but I didn't get to play the entire strike. I was there right at the end, and I mean literally right at the end, where the last boss, I think there's three of them, but there was only one of them there when I was there, um, and he died pretty much straight away, and I got these brutes to drop, and these brutes have intellect and strength and carry more ammo for scout rifle but you know it was pointless all i wanted was some legendary boots to be able to fill that spot and then i used my last etheric light that i got from the nightfall on it to ascend it so within week one i managed to get a level 34 character three decent drops and then we ran crota and in crota i got nothing but ascendant energies and shards all the way through until the last boss where i got a song of you you know not a bad thing to have probably just going to use it for arc burn stuff but I'm probably never going to ascend it. I'll probably end up dismantling it. There's only a, f a few certain guns that I want. So I'm not going to hoard like I do on my Xbox. But I am super pumped that <laughs> out of <laughs> within one week I have a level 34 Warlock already. 
Uh, my Sun Singer is what I decided to level up, which is pretty much all the way done. I'm just going to run some more strikes and get that finished. And then I'm going to focus on leveling up the Void Walker. I feel like leveling up Sun Singer is more important first for PvE stuff. When people are dragging me through trials and all that, you know, maybe I can resurrect and, and win a round. Or in PvE, I can resurrect and revive someone if I need to. So, you know, I thought that would be the most useful thing to do. But I'm super, super pumped to be able to have a level 34 character in week one and how lucky I am so you know just for I clue you guys in I'm going to probably be doing two more characters obviously a titan and a hunter also um, let me know what you think guys hit that like button if you think I'm extremely lucky I'm happy to be playing on PS4 and having something new to do like even though I've done all this before it's very much new to me and I'm actually having a lot of fun leveling up and grinding without having all the best stuff like it is actually really a lot of fun I'm going to be doing um, both the strikes that I've never played before live um, and, and, and upload those as well. My, my first experience with them. So yeah, look out for those. Hit that like button guys. Hit that comment section. Tell me what you think. All that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.